Dad, yes. who gives this woman to marry this man today? Her mother and I. Thank you. And if you can stay standing, please do. If you guys want to hold hands, you can. Family and friends, we are gathered here today to show our love and our support for Kelsey and for Luke and to celebrate the beginning of their journey together as a married couple. Let us rejoice that they have found one another and through each other they have come to know the power of love as they have never known it before. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we welcome you, and we are so grateful for you and your presence here today. We ask that you guide and bless Luke and Kelsey as they start their new lives together today. Please watch over all of their family and friends who are here, those who are unable to make it, and especially continue to watch over those who are watching this wedding from an opening in heaven. May your light and grace be extended to all and that we may welcome you in our lives each and every day. Thank you for this wonderful day. Amen. Please be seated. Remember that deal that I had with you? Okay, get your devices ready. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh. Get in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, let me in. We good? We good? Get back over. Uh, I thought we were done. <laughs> you can stay up here. All right. No stragglers, right? Oh, mom's still got her phone. Let's let her do that. Mm -hmm. There's always one. Okay. All right, you two. We're here. You made it. From all my calculations, you met during a pandemic, and you're still together. There's a lot of couples that cannot say that. They spent way too much time together. That is such a big deal. So I personally thank you for choosing to love and for staying the course when the world was pretty crazy. And I guarantee at the end of this day, you will be married. When I left here yesterday, a lot of stuff was going through my head and, and things were very heavy on me when I left. And I'm getting off script here just a little and it'll make sense in a moment. I prayed about it last night, I prayed about it today, and this is what is the result of God being in my head. Yesterday, I felt that there was still some heaviness on the part of our groom, right? Because you all know there's somebody missing here today. We can't dispute that. But my speaker yesterday that was used to play our music was sitting on the ground after the rehearsal, and when I went to leave, there was a purse that was left on the ground and it kind of blended in with my speaker. And I held up that purse and I said, hey, does anyone know whose purse this is? And someone stepped forward and said, yes, that is Jenna's purse. So now I know who Jenna is. Now why that became important in that very moment is because the name Jenna is the most special name in the entire world to me because I had a daughter named Jenna and I lost Jenna three and a half years ago. Where does that fit in? That fits in because I truly believe that energy attaches to energy, and I know that I don't get to experience this moment with my Jenna. And I know that you don't get to experience that with your mom. So God kind of told me that maybe I'm a stand-in today, and I get that moment, okay? I also want to stress, before we really start this, is that in my own healing journey, um... I heard a podcast, and it's called Terrible Thanks for Asking. And that podcast taught me that we cannot prevent bad things from happening. We cannot keep our loved ones from leaving. The only thing that we can do is celebrate and find joy in between losses, right? Mom's going to surface here a little bit later in the ceremony, 
but you know she's here. I know she's within me because that's why I'm saying these words. And this is one of those joyful days, right? And so this is the very best day that we could ask for. Thanks for letting me say that. Something that I do that is a little bit different is I gave a couple a list of questions. I told them that if they participated in this, I was going to read them before the ceremony. I asked them to carefully think and respond back to me individually, and these two did it. Neither has heard the other's answers until this very moment. So if you have never experienced bride and groom Q&A, here we go. I asked them to talk about when they first met. Kelsey said this. The first time that I met Luke, I thought to myself, wow, he is a tall, good-looking guy, and that he looked like he had his life together. Was that true? Yeah. Okay. I could already tell that this was a guy that I could take home to my parents, and they would approve of him. Luke said this. I remember having a very warm feeling when I met Kelsey at that coffee shop in downtown Peoria. Not because I was nervous or because the coffee was hot, but because of the way she smiled at me and met me with eye contact. It was like everything that I had to say was the only thing that mattered to her. I asked them what did they like best about each other. Kelsey said, this question is a tough one because he has so many qualities that make him such a wonderful man. I would have to say he is so easygoing and doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He's a very reliable person who would help anyone that needs him. Now remember that answer she just gave, because this is what Luke said. To say I like one thing best about her wouldn't be fair to all of her other qualities that make her the most incredible woman in the world. I asked them why did they get married and where did they see themselves in five years? Kelsey said he makes everything better being with him. He challenges me to be my best. He even goes to the gym with me most of the time when I know he would rather be playing Fortnite with JD, Blaine, and Mike. He loves me for who I am and I am comfortable around him and can be myself. He is so good with kids and I can't wait to see him become a father. Luke is my best friend, and I can't wait to start this new adventure with him. In five years, I still see us living in central Illinois, raising children together, and both of us still working the same job. This is what Luke said. He said, I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to start a family with her, knowing she will be a great mom, and she will put our children first ahead of everything. In five years... I will be living in Metamora with my wife, Kelsey, and our two boys, Morgan and Wallen, probably still doing electrician stuff and just staying busy between work and family and continuing building on an already happy marriage. Have we agreed on those names? No. Okay. It's a joke. Yeah. I asked, what did they have in common? Kelsey said we both like to travel and we are both homebodies. Both of us are shy and quiet people at first, but once we get comfortable, we can be pretty outgoing. Listen to this answer. Luke said we are a lot alike. We both hate being the center of attention and are very shy around new people. But when we get comfortable around our close friends or just each other, we can be very outgoing. I asked them the most important question. I asked them what annoys them the most about the other. And this is what Kelsey said about you. She said, he doesn't know how to aim for a toilet. <laughs> and he leaves his dirty laundry throughout the house. <laughs> this is what Luke said. Whenever we go through the drive through and she hands me my food. There is always a bite missing out of my burger. <laughs> and she just sits there waiting for me to open my meal and see my reaction and thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you two. Are you ready? Deep breaths. Uh, Serious time. OK. 
Okay. Luke, do you understand and do you accept this responsibility? And do you promise to do your best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? If so, please say, I do. I do. And Kelsey, do you understand and accept this responsibility? And do you promise to do your best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? If so, please say, I do. I do. And Luke, as you look at your bride, please repeat after me. I, Luke. I, Luke. Choose you, Kelsey. Choose you, Kelsey. To be my wife. To be my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. To respect you. To respect you. To support you. To support you. And to laugh with you. And to laugh with you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Luke, Kelsey has created some additional things that she would like for you to promise to do also. <laughs> Repeat after me. <clears throat> I promise. I promise. To look first. To look first. Before asking, before asking where something is. <laughs> where something is. I promise. I promise. To put my shoes on the shoe rack. To put, put my, my shoes, shoes on the shoe rack. rack. Hang up my truck keys. Hang up my truck keys. And hang up my hats by the front door. And hang out, hang up my hats by the front door. When I come home from work. When I come home from work. <laughs> and I promise. And I promise. To wipe out the sink. To wipe, wipe out, out the sink. sink. After I shave. After I shave. <laughs> Kelsey, uh -huh. please repeat after me while looking at your groom. I, Kelsey. I, Kelsey. Choose you, Luke. Choose you, Luke. To be my husband. To be my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. To respect you. To respect you. To support you. To support you. And to laugh with you. And to laugh with you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And you know it's only fair for him to have some extra vows for you. Repeat after me. I promise. I promise. To admit. To admit. When I am wrong. When I am wrong. <laughs> or when I make a mistake. Or when I make a mistake. I promise. I promise. To assume. To assume. That all of Luke's actions. That all of Luke's actions. Come from the best intentions. Come from the best intentions. <laughs> and I promise. And I promise. To not make any plans for us. To not make any plans for us. Without Luke's knowledge. Without Luke's knowledge. <laughs> on Sundays. On Sundays. During the fantasy football season. During the fantasy football season. <laughs> Okay, and now we will symbolize this union with the sharing of rings. May I have the rings, please? Can I have you open that box? Do you want me to? Yeah. You open it. I'm going to take them out. This, this. There you go. Okay. May the seamless circle of these rings serve as a reminder of your endless love and of your promises that you've made today to be faithful, loving, and kind to each other. Luke, I'm going to have you take her rings first. And while placing them on her finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I give you my promise. I give you my promise to honor you. To honor you. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to share my love. And to share my love. And life. And life. With you for always. With you for always. <laughs> no. You go. You're good. All right, Kelsey, I'll give you his ring while placing it on Luke's finger. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. To honor you. To honor you. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to share my love. And to share my love. And life and life with you for always with you for always Luke and Kelsey have decided to do what is known as a hand fasting as a way of blessing their marriage today for those of you that are unfamiliar hand fasting is an ancient Celtic ritual involving tying a rope around joined hands which is where we get the term tying the knot in ancient times this ritual was considered temporary it meant that you were bound for one year and one day 
And if that worked out, then your family would formally allow you to get married. But please understand, this is not 17th, 18th century here. This is 2023. This is not meant to be temporary. This is meant to be for life. Normally when I do this, I use a plain piece of ribbon to do this ceremony. But this wedding is a little bit different. Today, the ribbon is special as it belonged to something of Luke's mom, Tracy. So Luke, your mom really is here today helping you tie the knot. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These hands will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These hands will love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These hands will hold you as they have if fear or grief temporarily come your way. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, both tears of sorrow, but like today also tears of joy. These hands will be there to hold and nurture Delilah and Hunter and future fur babies. These hands will hold your future human babies and anyone and everything blessed to be in your home. These hands will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. And these hands will be there to hold you tight if you have to struggle through difficult times and always giving you strength. And lastly, these are the hands that will still be reaching for yours, still be giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch, no matter your age. Now you are bound to each other with a tie that's not easy to break. Today's perfect. You saw me make that knot really tight, right? The knot is tight and everything is happy. But there may be times when it gets rough. There may be times when you actually feel like the knot could be loosening. I want you to save this knot and I want you to come back to it. And I want you to remember the words that we said here today. And I want you to remember that there's nothing the two of you can't conquer, conquer as long as you stick together. Hold this, pull your hands out. You can hold hands again. Luke and Kelsey, you've declared your intentions and vows before God, family, and friends. May you be true to the vows that you have made here today. And may you have the wisdom to cherish the precious love that you share. And may this life that you share be peaceful, healthy, and filled with nothing but blessings and joy. May you never go to bed angry. And may you always kiss each other goodnight. And please don't forget... As you and I both know, life is so very short. We're not promised tomorrow. So make sure, even if you're apart, that you say I love you every single day. I hope that you can collect experiences and not things. I hope that you can continue to make memories and that you can keep choosing each other every single day, even in those annoying times that you talked about. I hope that you always laugh during the good times and hold each other during the bad and never forget that no matter how bad some things may get and they may because of this crazy thing that we call life, you still have each other. So family and friends, it is with my great honor and privilege and with all of the authority granted to me, and I told these guys that I'd say this, by this ridiculous state of Illinois, that I witness and affirm this union of love and do hereby pronounce that these two are in fact stuck together for life. Luke and Kelsey, you may now share your first kiss. Yes, All right, everyone, if you want to stand, 
in and get your flower petals ready. I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Luke Yeager. Thank you.